Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Robots in Disguise Ramjet. This is from the Classics line. This was released back in 2006. This is like F-22, a Raptor looking jet. I like the color scheme, uh, sorry, color scheme. You got the gold over here in the back, the red, gray, the little thrusters in the back here. You got like, four thrusters, wow kind of neat well two thrusters and whatever the heck the vertical stabs here and the horizontal stabs so I like the molding the detailing on the wings here pretty darn detailed on that respect I also uh, broke off this piece so you'll see that thing fall off and it has I like the G1-esque rub symbol which is not working too well the clear cockpit which is neat I know I got a little details on the nose cone over here it's beat up I don't know why it's so blue but it also you can see this on the guy's face here don't know why it's so blue. And I, you can see the dude's face and even the red eyes if you kind of see that, that gray. Yeah, sort of. Uh, underneath here, the intakes, the gold on the intakes. And I like the landing gear which uh, forms a part of the chest over here. Landing gear doesn't roll. I wish it had nose landing gear, but it is what it is. It has these little wheels over here that really don't roll over here. so. The dude doesn't roll. He just stands there. Yeah, like a lump on the log. Other than that, uh, very plain. From the top over here, looking all right. It's all right looking. Let's see. You got the details here. Yeah, let's give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's nothing horrible, but nothing great either. It's not bad. I mean, it is what it is. Kind of small plane, too. I'll show you when I do the transformation. And for the transformation, relatively easy. This isn't um, too difficult. Let's see what we can do for transformation. One thing, of course, is get the missile launchers off. And that's the one thing. It has these weird cluster bomb looking missile launchers. Okay, set that to the side. We're going to pull the legs off. And as soon as that happens, this thing is going to pop off because I broke it off. No sweat, though. And I'm just going to pull this up over here because that's part of the transformation is to pull that up and around. So one of the things, pull up, pull that little piece up, and pull that around. Pull the legs out, which is kind of neat. I'm going to move horizontal stabs inward, just like that. So the tail section does go, go back. So that's pretty much it. Feet go down. Very reminiscent of G1. I like the feet over there. And the transformation for inside over here, the hands, pretty neat. I'm going to move the cockpit section back so that goes in. You can see the arms over here. And this is thing, even though the hair is a little tab over here, it is difficult to pull these out. The hands, that is. So there we go. Not bad. Second portion. Just like that. Pull that out. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, one thing is that we're going to pull this, the nose cone down, rotate, and rotate the head around. And that goes down into the chest area right there, so that will snap down. Very G1-esque. There we go. Short little figure. I'm going to put the little cluster bombs, or wherever the heck these are, on the side. Then it works. Okay, move that up. Good. Alright, it does have these 5 mil pegs, so I imagine that you can hold one, yep, as a weapon if need be. And the thing does fire. I just wish it even it has little details on the bombs over here. You can see the, what do you call that color? Gold? Yeah. And it does fire. All you have to do is press the button. Oh man, press the button. What is wrong with this thing? Here. Got it. So, it's an okay figure. Nothing outlandish about the figure. As far as articulation, the head does rotate, but it's hindered by, of course, the intakes. It does have that weird gray and red eyes, which I rather like. Like the painting on the intakes. Good molding detail on here. Oh yeah, one thing is that once you're done with the landing gear, push them in. 
I just wish it has more Descript, more paint app, something. It's just so plain to me. It's just gray and white. <sighs> what, what's it for articulation? And it does have that gap here where the hands used to be. Single joint on the elbow, and it's very stubby on the arms, but the proportions aren't too bad otherwise. Like the silver, the gray, gunmetal gray, silver, gold. Let's see. It rotates all around. Doesn't move. No, it does rotate on the side to side. Single joint on the elbow. Same thing, ball jointed on the hip. Swivels at the knee, single joint at the knee, you got a swivel on the foot. So it's not bad as articulation, no waist swivel. It's kind of, you can tell the evolution of the Transformers line, 2006 to now. And it's blocky, it was great for its time. I like the homage to G1. And just to show you, for a size comparison, there he is with Megatron. He is a short figure. There is no doubt about that short little dude. Alright, 7 out of 10 in this mode as well. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch you all next time.